हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दर्जुना राउत लेक्चरर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस इन अवर टूडे स्लाइड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग और स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ डाटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज ट्री ट्री इज अ नॉन प्रिमेटिव डाटा स्ट्रक्चर इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विच हैज मेनी ऑपरेशंस or we can say how a tree is represented how the operations are performed in a tree how we basically traverse in a tree all this in details we will be studying in this topic so let's start so at first we will know what is a tree and what are some of the terms that are used in the tree topics in a linear data structure data is organized in sequential order and in non linear data structure data is organized in random order a tree is a very popular non non linear data structure used in a wide range of applications a tree data structure can be defined as follows tree data structure is a collection of data or we also call it as nodes which is organized in hierarchical structure recursively so here you can see one structure of a tree in which all the nodes or the data elements are been structured hierarchically that is there is a top element under which that there is divided by two elements under this divided two elements it is divided again subdivided to three elements so this is how a tree is been structured so in a tree data structure every individual element is called node node in a tree data structure stores the actual data of a particular element and the link to the next element in the hierarchical structure so here a b c d e f g h i j k all are the nodes in a tree data structure if we have n number of nodes then we can have maximum n minus 1 number of links here in this diagram we have 11 nodes so the number of links here is n minus 1 that is 11 minus 1 that is 10 links or 10 edges so here are some of the terms that are been related to the tree data structure so the important terms related to tree data structure are a parent a child siblings degree internal node leaf node level height depth subtree forest root and age or link so let's discuss each terminology one by one so first comes the root the root is the first node from where the tree originates in a tree there must be only one root node we can never have multiple root nodes in a tree data structure so here is a example of a da tree data structure so the very first node from which other nodes get originated is known as the root node so here a is the only root node next comes the edges the connecting link between any two nodes is called an edge in a tree with n number of nodes there are exactly n minus 1 number of edges so this communicating link between a and b a and c c and g g and k all are known as edges 
or it is also known as link. Next comes the parent. Parent means the node which has a branch from it to any other node is known as parent node. In other words, the node which has only which has one or more children can be called as parent node. In a tree, a parent node can have any number of child nodes. So here in the diagram, we can say B and C are child to the parent A. So the parent of B and C is A. The parent of D and D, E and F is B. The parent of G and H is C. The parent of I and J is E and the parent of K is G. So this is known as parent node. Next comes the child node. So the descendant of some node that is the node that are under the parent node are known as child node. All the nodes except the root node are child nodes. So here B and C are child of A, D, E, D, E, F are child of B, G and H are child of C, I and J is child are the children of E, whereas K is the child of G. Next comes the siblings. Nodes which belong to the same parent are called siblings. In other words, nodes with the same parents are known as sibling nodes. Here, B and C are siblings, D, E and F are siblings, whereas G and H are siblings, I and J are siblings. Next comes the degree of a node. Degree of a node is the total number of children of that particular node. The degree of a tree is the highest degree of node among all the nodes in the tree. So what is degree of a particular node that is the total number of children it has such as the degree of node C is 2 because it contains 2 children. The degree of node B is 3 because it contains 3 children. And what is the degree of tree? Among all the nodes, the highest degree of node is the degree of tree. Next comes the leaf node. The node which does not have any child is called as a leaf node. A leaf node are also called external nodes or terminal nodes. So here for example, D, I, J, F, K and H have no further child nodes. So these are known as leaf nodes. Next we will know about the level. In a tree, each step from top to bottom is called level of a tree. The level count starts from 0 and is incremented by 1 at each level or step. So the first root node is at level 0 whereas next all the levels are incremented by 1 that is level 1, level 2, level 3 and so on. So this is known as leveling or level of a tree from top to bottom. Next comes the height, the total number of ages that lies on the longest path from any leaf node to a particular node is called as height of that node. Height of the tree is the height of the root node from the leaf nodes or the last leaf nodes. The height of all leaf nodes is zero here. Here we can say the height of node A is 3, the height of node B is 2, height of node C is 2, whereas height of node D is 0, height of node E is 1, height of node F is 0, height of node G is 1, as it is just above 1 or there is only one age in from 
द लीफ नोड टू जी ओके तो रेस्ट एच आई जे के ऑल आर लीफ नोट सो द हाइट ऑफ ऑल दिस नोट इज जीरो नेक्स्ट कम्स द डेफ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एजेस फ्रॉम रूट नोड टू अ पर्टिकुलर नोड इज कॉल्ड डेफ्ट ऑफ दैट नोड डेफ्ट ऑफ ट्री इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एजेस फ्रॉम रूट नोड टू अ लीफ नोड इन अ लॉन्गेस्ट पाथ डेफ्ट ऑफ द रूट नोड इज इक्वल टू जीरो द टर्म लेवल एंड डेफ्ट आर यूजली इंटरचेंजेबल so here the depth of node a is 0 depth of node b is 1 so we can say it is just upside down of the level part okay so here we can say the depth of the highest depth here is the of the leaf nodes that is i j k these have the highest depth nodes that is 3 next is the term subtree in a tree each child from a node forms a subtree recursively each child node forms a subtree on its parent node so here e i j is a subtree whereas all this under that comes under b is a subtree and that comes under c is a subtree and all in all the total tree is can be considered also can be considered as a subtree at the last we will be discussing the last term that is forest a forest is a set of disjoint trees so here it is a tree with the root node b whereas it is a tree with the root node c so these are two different tree data structures when we make a set of the like this two different disjoint trees that makes a forest next comes the term that is preceder node the preceder node is the node that is above certain node successor node the successor node is the node that is below certain node and sister all the nodes that are before certain node and in the same path that is from the node to the root node is known as ancestor descendant all the nodes that are after certain node that is in the same path that is from the node to the leaf node is called as descendant so here we can see a example of all the terminologies we have discussed here is a tree in which a is the root node and the predecessor of b is the previous node or its parent node that is a the successor of a are its children that is b c and d the ancestor of e is its it's all previous nodes that is b and a the descendant of b is the child nodes of b that is e and f the parent of e is b the sibling of e is f the degree of a is from the top to the leaf node all the edges that is or we can say the level that is 3 from 1 to and the degree is 3 so up to this we have discussed about all the terminologies used in a tree data structure i think this video would be really helpful to you in our next slides we will be discussing about the operations on the e data structure this much for this slide thank you